most triumphant. We're finally getting a threequel in the saga of Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. While we can't travel into the future to watch Bill and Ted face the music right now, we've rounded up everything we know about their next and assuredly most excellent adventure. Before he was Johnny Utah, Johnny Mnemonic, or John Wick, Keanu Reeves endeared himself to audiences as the lovable, dim-witted Ted Theodore Logan, who wanted nothing more than to make a triumphant music video and become a famous rock star. Opposing Ted was his rigid father, whose threats of sending his son away to military school motivated Ted to do whatever it took to pass his history class and stay at San Dimas High School. Reeves has been talking about a Bill & Ted sequel for years, although a decade ago it barely resembled the movie in its current form. Back in 2008, when Reeves talked to MTV about a third Bill & Ted, he said it would be a remake that wouldn't necessarily involve him, although he still spoke affectionately about the possibility. Even back then, though, the seed for Face the Music seemed to have been germinating in Reeves' imagination, with him saying, I had once mentioned about doing it when we were 40. Now, maybe the only shot we have is to do it when we're 50. Turns out he was close. Reeves will be turning 56 just one day after Face the Music arrives. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> As much as we all love Keanu Reeves, Bill and Ted doesn't work without a Bill. Fortunately, Alex Winter is just as stoked as Reeves to be returning to the role that made him famous, as long as it's done right. Speaking to IndieWire in 2018 about a possible third film, Winter said, We've been pretty philosophical about it. Like, if we could get it made, great. But if it's not going to get made to our creative specifications, we're all perfectly happy not doing it. Fortunately, Winter seems to agree with the consensus that Face the Music is indeed the film the original creative team wanted to make. It will be Winter's first major starring role in more than 25 years, after he walked away from acting to pursue his passion for documentary filmmaking and to give himself space to heal from the trauma of his childhood. In recent years, Winter has made several documentary films focusing on technology, including Downloaded and Deep Web, and says that making documentaries is, quote, the most creatively gratified I've ever been. Still, Winter was excited to take a short hiatus from documentaries to step back into Bill's high-top sneakers and inexplicable crop top. Winter added that, I really just need to turn that entire side of my brain off and be the dumbass that Bill is for three months. Although we're pretty sure that Bill and Ted face the music wouldn't dare kill Bill and Ted again, there's still going to be some role for Death to play in their midlife crisis. William Sadler is reprising his role as the Grim Reaper, who failed to permanently collect the souls of the wild stallions in Bill and Ted's bogus journey, and subsequently became their servant. You have sunk my battleship. Excellent! Yeah! No further details have been revealed about how Death will figure into Bill and Ted face the music, or whether he'll be functioning as an ally or an antagonist to the two adorably boneheaded heroes. Who knows, maybe he's still a member of Wild Stallions on the upright base, or has become a superstar in his own right following a resurgence of the popularity of his Reaper rap. Just when you thought that Bill and Ted Face the Music's road to release couldn't get any more heartwarming, the production had to go and announce the names of Bill and Ted's daughters. Ready or not, actress Samara Weaving will be playing Thea Preston, while Bridget Lundy Payne will be portraying Billy Logan. Yes, Bill and Ted named their daughters after each other. This was technically revealed at the end of Bogus Journey, though many fans simply assumed that Little Bill and Little Ted were boys. As writer Ed Solomon pointed out on Twitter, though, the kids were played by girls to begin with. Producer Scott Crump described Weaving and Lundy Payne as, quote, funny and unique to Entertainment Weekly, and said that seeing them together was like the first time they ever saw Winter and Reeves as Bill and Ted. According to the film's official synopsis, Billy and Thea will be instrumental in helping their dads write the song that will save the universe. One of the most excellent parts of Bill & Ted's first time-hopping adventure was their stop in medieval England, where they rescued princesses Joanna and Elizabeth. Bill & Ted went on to marry the two princesses off-screen at the end of Bogus Journey during their 16 months of intensive guitar training, and arrived back at Battle of the Bands carrying their infant children on their backs. Now the princesses are back, although they've been recast for Face the Music. Jayma Mays of Glee fame will play Bill's wife Joanna, Aaron Hayes will play Elizabeth Logan. Were it not for Ted's strict father, Bill and Ted may never have felt the need to work so hard to pass history and embark on their first voyage through time. So it's only fitting that the Logan family will be back for Face the Music, led by Hal Landon Jr., who will be reprising his role as Ted's father. Meanwhile, Beck Bennett will be taking over the role of Ted's brother Deacon, replacing Fraser Bain, whose career has shifted from acting to producing. Hopefully after 30 years, Captain Logan will have mellowed out a bit when it comes to his desire to control his son, but we wouldn't be surprised if the captain still somehow manages to work the phrase military school into conversation. Meanwhile, Amy Stoch is also returning as Bill's disturbingly youthful ex-stepmom Missy, who married his dad before the start of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, only to divorce him and marry Ted's dad before Bogus Journey. At the end of that film, it's implied 
implied that Missy divorces Captain Logan too, then gets engaged to the villainous Dinomalos, although it's never confirmed as she goes through with the wedding. It's unclear what role she'll play in the adult Bill and Ted's lives in Face the Music, but we're sure that however Missy factors in, it's sure to make Bill uncomfortable. Stepmom's cute. Shut up, Ted. Remember when she was a senior and we were freshmen? Shut up, Ted! Although Bill and Ted fans have long been champing at the bit to see our favorite time-traveling bozos back in action, we had a long wait to see any actual footage from Face the Music. To tide us over while we waited for an official trailer, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter, introducing themselves in character as Wild Stallions, filmed a short video at the Hollywood Bowl. In the video, the pair first announced the threequel and its title, thanked fans for sticking with them, and ended by reminding all of us to be excellent. Finally, in June 2020, Orion Pictures delivered the full trailer for Bill and Ted Face the Music, and it quickly became clear that the ride would be worth the wait. The sneak peek offered our first look at our middle-aged heroes, their kids, and their old friend Death. A second trailer followed, promising a return trip to hell and setting up the most dire stakes of the mission. It's clear from what we've seen so far that the classic Wild Stallion style of fun is alive and well, and we can't wait to see more in September. The only major Bill & Ted character not returning to face the music is the duo's time-traveling mentor Rufus, played by legendary comedian George Carlin, who passed away in 2008. Rather than recast Rufus or attempt to sweep his absence under the rug, Ed Solomon says that the third Bill & Ted film will serve as a tribute to both the character and the actor who portrayed him. Solomon said in an interview with Digital Spy in 2018, George Carlin is so deeply missed by all of us. There is a not just a homage to him, it's more than that. His absence is part of the whole movie. Solomon went on to reveal that Face the Music will see Bill and Ted interact with their younger selves and Rufus by incorporating footage of Carlin, along with the younger Reeves and Winter, from Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. While Rufus may be gone in the upcoming sequel, he definitely won't be forgotten. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. Although Bill and Ted actually learned how to play their instruments and seemingly became famous at the end of Bogus Journey, the trailers for Face the Music tell us that they never did compose the greatest song ever written. Middle Age will find them feeling the pressure of a destiny unfulfilled. According to writers Chris Matheson and Ed Solomon, the script tackles the pressure of being told they're going to save the world and not having done it yet, and of being 50 and wondering if you should give up on the dreams you still haven't achieved. You totally blew it, dude. The screenwriters went on to explain that the idea felt much more interesting than telling a Bill and Ted story in which they'd already become famous, saved the world, and had some kind of falling out. Solomon told EW, I think it's kind of like a Christmas carol with Bill and Ted, looking at their lives and really kind of rediscovering what they're about. The script for Bill and Ted Face the Music has gone through a lot of changes since Solomon and Matheson first pitched the idea to Reeves and Winter in 2007. However, one thing that's always remained constant is everyone's desire to make a film that feels like it belongs alongside excellent adventure and bogus journey. No one involved wanted to lose the elements that made Bill and Ted special, and it sounds as though they've succeeded. Reeves told EW, I love the characters so much, who they are, the spirit of their voice that Chris and Ed have given them. Winter added, The whole trajectory of getting the next one off the ground has been pretty much exactly like the experience of getting the original. Going to every studio and they're like, what the F is this? It's kind of independent spirit, and the films have an anachronistic quality to them that's a big part of what they are, fundamentally. I'm really happy that this one is the same. Ever since the official synopsis for Bill & Ted Face the Music was revealed, we've known that the plot would revolve around the two main characters facing the pressure of not having yet written their world-saving song as they stare down the barrel of retirement age. However, it now sounds as though the window in which the duo must deliver their song is much narrower than we previously thought. Speaking to EW about Bill & Ted's predicament in the threequel, writer Chris Matheson revealed, They've got literally 80 minutes or all of reality will come to an end. With less time to save the world than it would take to watch either of their previous two movies, Bill and Ted will have to make every second count if they're going to have a chance of succeeding. Fortunately, it sounds like they'll have help from a variety of sources, including their daughters and Kid Cudi's character, who is apparently Kid Cudi? Director Dean Parasot told EW, He plays Kid Cudi. He gets mysteriously thrown through various times because all time and space is coming unglued. Whether Parasot meant that Cudi will play a fictional character similar to his real-life persona, or an alternate reality version of himself, we'll have to wait until the movie Movie arrives on September 1st to find out. All we can do is hope that it's excellent! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.